probably going to be doing the easiest fly you can do <clears throat> and it's probably one of the most productive um actually had a few people ask me about tying them some and i decided to do a video on it because they're that easy anyone can do it um so you just want to start your thread that's a I like to keep these heavy because you're tying it out of like a material that absorbs water and sometimes it doesn't sink real well. So I like to keep them heavy. This is a four millimeter tungsten. It's a jig hook. You can see the bend. So it's a slotted um, bead there. All right, let's go. So just start your thread on there. And then back, cut that. Very easy tie. I mean, I think this is the first fly I've ever done. I'm cleaning up a little. I like to take mine back. Just, I don't know, just a habit. I'm up to there. And then I showed you there how you want to get these um, fibers out. Just clean it off till you get to there. Um, because that'll help secure it a lot better. I just hold it right there. And like one or two loose wraps and you can cinch it down a little just want a little thorax on this doesn't have to be real big and just clean it up a little keep wrapping wrap as long as you want really no no real big deal on how many wraps there's no like right or wrong way and then just pull any of that excess fiber down that we uh we had there That'll secure that bead in there really good, give you a tight fit, especially with that bigger bead. And I don't know if I said, but this is a uh, size 12 hook. I really like the size 12. Um, now my next step is to tie in some flash. Uh, I like to use the, um, the, the flash on this, just or ice dubbing, whichever you prefer. But I like to do mine a little different. I'll just spin this and I'll actually you can put it on here and just, you know, dub it on that way. But I like to actually split mine. Um, I just feel like it, you get a little bit better feel um, when you do that. It, it tends to, uh, I don't know, just give you a longer, like a longer hairs. They just stick back longer, more flash. But I'm really struggling here. <laughs> There we go, I split it that time. And I don't have it ready, so give me one second here. Ah, sorry, I bumped the camera there. All right, we'll re-split that. So basically, I'm just gonna take this out, you know, and you don't need a lot um, with this one. I would say, about like that right there. I mean, I don't, I don't use a ton of that stuff. A little goes a long way. You can always add more, it's a pain to take out, so. Now we'll split this again. And I don't know why I'm struggling to split that. That's even, I believe that's 140. So, you know, that should, that should split pretty easy, but whatever. All right, so now just stick that in there where you split it, you know, get it up. And now what you're gonna wanna do is just spread it out a little bit, okay? And then spin your, your uh, Spool there, clockwise. Just let it spin a little while. You'll see it start to tighten up a little bit. And it's pretty tight there. You're just securing those fibers is all really. So then just start at the back here. Get a couple wraps there and hide your yarn as you work forward and just pull all that dubbing back like this and just keep the round the head tight. And like I said, this is 140, so I can pull it pretty tight. Um, and then you're pretty much done at that point. Just throw a uh, whip finish on it. Can't really get at it. So I'm gonna try this way. It's a four turn wrap like that. <clears throat> a four turn whip finish, cut off the excess. And um, if you've ever used a mop, you know they get hammered. So you're gonna get a lot of takes on this. So what I do is I actually UV a little bit around the head. Um, it's just this bone dry, you can use anything. I like the bone dry, it's just so much easier to work with. Comes with this little brush I'll show you. 
and you can just apply just a little bit around that head, right where that thread is. And this stuff is amazing. The bone dry is, is by far my favorite UV. And then you just take your little light here and I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn that down a little. There, now you can see the, the actual UV light on it there, curing it. I always do it for a little longer than you're supposed to, probably. But that's really it. That is your uh, mop fly. And I promise you, if you use that fly anywhere, you will have a good day. <laughs> well, I can't promise that, but it's a fish locator. It's big. It, it actually, you know, sinks okay. But with a heavy bead, it sinks really well. You don't have to use a four. You can use whatever. Um, but I found uh, a lot of luck with that fly. You can, and it's always, no matter where I'm at in, uh, in rivers, it, I just get bites on it. And I'll take that as my bottom fly, usually over anything to start with, and then go from there. But yeah, that's the fly. Good luck to you. And any questions, comment down below.